March 8, 1971, Madison Square Garden, New York City. Muhammad Ali comes back from exile to face down Joe Frazier for the title of World Heavyweight Champion. This fight will be much easier. Get your hands off you. This is the day, I'm man. You understand? More than a sports showdown, it became an ideological duel. On one side, revolutionaries rooted for Ali. On the other, conservatives backed Frazier. I have never been a quitter. 300 million people all over the world watch what came to be known as the fight of the century. But although that was the big event of the night, you'd be wrong to think that only the boxes were photographed on that March 8th. Right next to the ring, Frank Sinatra was in awe. Oddly enough, he had a camera in his hands. Why? Well, even though he was crazy famous, getting tickets for that fight was far from easy. It was then that he had an idea. He called Life's chief editor and obtained press credentials to attend the event. At that moment, in addition to being a singer, an actor, and a producer, Sinatra was ready to add another set of skills to his resume, those of a photographer. Sitting in the best seats in the house, even better than the first row, Frank watched the fight and managed to score a photo on the cover of the magazine. All this while being the night's third most photographed person. But on that March 8th, the cameras weren't just turned on the boxes and old blue eyes. Frank Lucas, famously unknown up until that night, had seats that were better than those of many celebrities. How was that possible? That's exactly what caused Detective Richie Roberts to become suspicious that night. I mean, that and the infamous chinchilla hat and coat, which cost an estimated $25,000 and $100,000 respectively. Roberts was already investigating the drug epidemic that plagued Harlem, so he connected the dots. Frank Lucas was one of New York's top drug lords. He brought the drugs to the U.S. in an incredibly peculiar way. He would hide the packs in a secret compartment in the coffins of American soldiers who were being brought home from Vietnam. The belief that all men in all lands... By cutting out the middleman, Lucas quickly became one of New York City's most powerful men. That explained uh, his coat, his hat, and his seats. And on the night of March 8th, Lucas was far from inconspicuous. He was arrested shortly after that. Meanwhile, in the ring, Ali won the first two rounds. Frazier quickly made a comeback and won all rounds up to the eighth one. He uh, had a big lead. Ali won round nine. Frazier won round 10. Ali would only win the fight if he could knock Frazier out. From round 11 to round 14, it was Frazier, 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 and Frazier. During round 15, the last one, Ali fell. Frazier brought him down with one of his famous left hooks. Like a warrior, Ali got back up and stood on his feet until the end of the round. But the war was already over. By unanimous decision, Frazier was the new heavyweight champion. Muhammad Ali was defeated for the first time in his career on that night, March 8, 1971. The world was astonished. The clocks were ticking furiously. And then it was a new day. But that's a different story for different photos.